periodic table. Classification of elements on the basis of their atomic masses. Dmitry Mendeleev, a Russian chemist, had great interest in the study of elements. Mendeleev was born at Tobolsk in Siberia. He studied science at St. Petersburg and then graduated in 1856. In 1863, he was appointed as a professor and in 1866, he succeeded to the chair in the university. Mendeleev studied the relationship between the atomic masses of elements and their physical and chemical properties. He concentrated on the compounds formed by the elements with oxygen and hydrogen as they were very reactive and formed compounds with most of the elements. He analyzed these compounds and came to the conclusion that the atomic mass of elements was the most fundamental property for classifying elements. Mendeleev arranged elements in the order of their increasing atomic masses and observed that elements having similar physical and chemical properties occur at regular intervals or occur periodically. This observation was stated in the periodic law known as Mendeleev's periodic law. The law states that the physical and chemical properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic masses. Mendeleev arranged the 63 elements then known according to their properties in horizontal rows till he came across an element which had properties similar to the first element. He placed this element below the first element and thus started the next row of elements. This arrangement is called the Mendeleev's periodic table. Let us understand the main features of Mendeleev's periodic table. Main features of Mendeleev's periodic table. In Mendeleev's periodic table, the horizontal rows are called periods. There are seven periods and they are numbered from one to seven. As one moves from left to right in a period, there is a gradual change from metallic to non-metallic properties. There are eight vertical columns called groups. They are numbered from 1 to 8. Groups 1 to 7 are further divided into two subgroups A and B. Let us proceed to understand some of the merits of Mendeleev's periodic table. Merits of Mendeleev's Periodic Table In Mendeleev's Periodic Table, he left some blank spaces. These vacant spaces were left for including elements that were not discovered at that time. Mendeleev could also predict the properties of these unknown elements on the basis of the properties of the elements lying adjacent to these vacant spaces. He predicted the presence of three elements. They were named as Eka Boron, Eka Aluminium and Eka Silicon. The properties of these three elements were similar to the actual elements discovered later. Eka Boron was similar to Scandium, Eka Aluminium was similar to Gallium and Eka Silicon was similar to Germanium. Let us compare the properties of the predicted element Eka Aluminium Ea and the element gallium Ga, which was discovered later. The atomic weight of Eka aluminium was about 68 and that of gallium is 69.72. The density of Eka aluminium was 6.0 grams per cubic centimeter and that of gallium is 5.9 grams per cubic centimeters. The melting point of Eka aluminium was predicted to be low and that of gallium is also quite low, that is 29.78 degrees Celsius. The valencies of Eka aluminium and gallium are the same, that is 3. The method of discovery for Eka aluminium was predicted to be from its spectrum and gallium was discovered spectroscopically. The formula of the oxides of both these elements is similar. And both oxides are soluble in both acids and alkalis. Eka aluminium oxide is Ea2O3 
and gallium oxide is Ga2O3. Their densities were also found to be similar. The density of Eka aluminium oxide was 5.5 gram per centimeter cube and that of gallium oxide is 5.88 gram per centimeter cube. Another merit was that when noble gases were discovered later, they could be accommodated in the periodic table in the form of a separate group without disturbing the positions of the other elements. Although Mendeleev was the first scientist who successfully classified all the known elements, there were some demerits of Mendeleev's periodic table. Demerits of Mendeleev's periodic table Hydrogen showed properties similar to alkali metals and halogens. Therefore, in the periodic table, hydrogen was not given a fixed position. Let us explore if there is any resemblance between hydrogen and alkali metals by writing compounds of both with chlorine, sulphur and oxygen. The compound of hydrogen with chlorine is hydrogen chloride HCl. Compound with sulphur is hydrogen sulphide H2S and compound with oxygen is water H2O. Consider the compounds of an alkali metal, sodium. The compound of sodium with chlorine is sodium chloride, NaCl. Compound with sulfur is sodium sulfide, Na2S. And compound with oxygen is sodium oxide, Na2O. You can see that the formulae of the compounds formed by hydrogen and those with sodium are similar as both hydrogen and sodium have valency 1. Let us now discuss the similarity between hydrogen and halogens. Both hydrogen and halogens exist as diatomic molecules. Hydrogen exists as H2 and chlorine, which is a halogen, exists as Cl2. Hydrogen forms covalent compounds like methane and chlorine also forms covalent compounds like carbon tetrachloride. Another demerit was that isotopes of the same element were given the same position in the periodic table. For example, isotopes of oxygen were given the same position as they are chemically similar. But, according to Mendeleev's law, Isotopes of the same element should be given different positions because they have different atomic masses. It was observed that at certain places in the periodic table, an element with a higher atomic mass like cobalt, with atomic mass 58.93, was placed before an element with lower atomic mass, that is, nickel with atomic mass 58.71. Certain chemically dissimilar elements were placed together. Manganese was placed with halogens, though they both are chemically dissimilar. Henry Mosley tried to correct these defects in the modern periodic table, which is the present system of classification of elements.